What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to create this masking transition effect inside of After Effects. So inside my timeline right here I have my clip A and clip B and I color coded them so my first one is uh, this like aqua color and then this other one is purple so you guys can see it better. I'll just play this out without any effects on it and I'll let you guys see what it looks like. So I want to transition from that one clip right there clip A to this clip B and I want the mask to mask out the end of this car right here and then it'll transition right into that clip first thing we've got to do is go up to our mask right here the pen tool and go to the start of where you want your uh, transition to be so not where like the mask starts happening but the frame right before it so right here i'm just going to create a mask outside of the frame and then just create like a decent amount of markers right here and then the outside can just be super rough because that's not going to be inside the video so you won't be able to see that and inside your mask right here you just want to mask path right here you want to keyframe that so click the little stopwatch and it'll turn blue and then just go one frame over and you can just go you can actually just go into your uh cursor right here and just mess with these little I'm not sure what they're called. They're called like, I just call them points, but I don't know. <laughs> Whatever they're called, just drag them into your video and start masking out your object, which in this case is this car. So it has a lot of motion blur on it. So it's a little difficult to mask out, but I'm just doing a rough kind of outline of it. So now if I go back, you can see it is now keyframed to the car. So basically we're just gonna do that for the rest of the frames here. Also, if your subject is just moving super fast and it's the same shape in each frame, which this car is going to stay in the pretty much the same uh, kind of like area and shape, you can just grab all the frames or the, all the points on your mask by just selecting them all like this and then just dragging it onto your object. So when I play it back, it is locked onto the car like that. So I'm just going to do the same thing, drag it. That's looking good and then drag it again maybe make this a little better and then for the last one you just want to make the mask out of the frame uh, and hole so just like get rid of it just like that and now you can see our other clip our clip B is underneath it which is exactly what we want so that's looking pretty good so if we play it back we have that effect, but it's very rough. Like these edges are super sharp, just doesn't look smooth at all. So what I'm going to do is go into our mask again and hit F on our keyboard, which brings up our mask feather. And with this slider right here, you can see by scaling it up, it just feathers out the mask and makes it look a lot smoother. Kind of looks like motion blur because this clip has tons of motion blur on it. So that looks perfect. I'm just going to do 100 and turn on motion blur for this clip so the mask kind of has like motion blur to it makes it look more real so yeah i'm just gonna turn that on and now when i play it back you can see that's a whole lot smoother there's no rough edges on it just like masked out like that uh soft feathering that's perfect and then just goes into this other clip right here so yeah, that's pretty much all it is for this uh, masking transition effect. And thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe, drop a like on this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.